All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Carlos, and I like to play with paint. Um, so here we have a big piece of Corian. I don't have my tape measure, so I couldn't tell you how long it is. So it's about that long and about that wide. Um, I will grab the measurements because I'm pretty sure some of you are going to ask um, how big it is. But uh, it's a little bit bigger than I thought it was. I thought it fit within my table, but it's actually overhanging. So I got to be extremely careful um, with this edge. I got a little piece of plastic just barely covering that. But I'm sure, I'm hoping nothing will spill over. But anyways, so today we're going to do yet again another Dutch pour. Um, slightly modified, of course, because, well, I don't know how to do the real one. So this, it is what it is. But uh I am going to be using the same colors I did as the, in, in the last video, plus a few others. So I'm going to cross my fingers. I'm going to hope that it comes out all right. And I'm going to try something that if it comes out you know, nice, then cool. If it doesn't, I, I don't know what to say. I tried it. It's all experimental. So, But I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm just going to show you at the end. So ladies and gentlemen, let us begin. All right, so we're going to start with phthalo blue. Obviously, we all know it as potato blue. And we're going to do the same squiggly little lines as before, but in a larger surface. All right, there's that. I'm going to add some of that cerulean blue. We're just gonna do that to that. I need to keep these paints out of the way because when if this thing spins, it could potentially knock over a bunch of stuff. But we're not gonna try to spin it, we're just gonna try to leave it as it is. So and add some of the geez, I forgot what color this was. The crimson, there we go. Duh, it looks red. I'm just gonna call it red. I'm going to go with the deep yellow. For the deep yellow, I'm just going to do a straight line down the middle and then back because why not, right? I have no idea what this is going to look like, so it is what it is. We'll all be surprised together. Now, what color have I not used? Oh, we're going to go with this uh, Cornacodon magenta. Again, I'm just going to do the little squiggly but maybe not as much of this one. And then we're going to hit it up with some violets. I don't know about the violets. No, we're going to do the violet, whatever. Just a little bit, just like that. Maybe a little bit in the middle. Why not, right? All right, so let me grab me a clean craft stick. See? Clean. Yay. I'm going to add more white. And add a little bit more white because it's a bigger piece. And then we're gently going to just cover it using the stick. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, being that I'm at an awkward angle, but we're going to give it a shot. Uh oh. Guarantee my fingers are going to get all full of paint. Now we're going to torch it up a little bit, just to see if we can get some cool cells. So 
I <laughs> think I overdid it, but whatever. So now for the tricky part. I'm going to use the hair dryer again, but I don't really have anything protecting everything off that table or everything coming towards me. So we're going to cross our fingers times two that I don't make a huge mess. I'm already expecting some kind of a mess. This hopefully it won't be a huge mess. And of course I will be editing out most or turning down the volume so it's not extremely loud. Um, again I'm going to be setting the, the dryer on cool and the setting on high. So ladies and gentlemen, wish me luck. I'm nervous. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I had to bring it now. You know what? Forget the close-ups. We'll, we'll, we'll do that at the end. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be something worth showing. But ladies and gentlemen, here we go. In three, two, one. All right, so we just did half of it. I'm gonna torch it up a little bit more just to get these cells going. Um, yeah. We got some pretty cool lacing, some, some definite cell action going. I know, I know at least a couple people had the question about how close they should have the torch to the piece. Um, as I told you, if, if you're watching, you want to hold it away towards where the, the flame isn't touching your piece. For me, I can go a little bit closer because it's stone, so it's not going to burn. I mean, I could burn the paint, but it's not really going to like light up. Um, but ideally, at a slight angle and basically just let the power of the jets and the heat burst those little bubbles. So hopefully that information helps and hopefully some of you guys can uh, you know, take it and... Hopefully you learned something new. So now we're going to continue. Sounds like my torch is dying. I need more butane. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am now going to do the part coming towards me. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna just cover up a little bit because I don't want to get paint all over me, or at least all over the shirt. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the part I'm really nervous about. It didn't really fly anywhere so that I could see, but I'm also gonna be holding it a lot closer to me, so spin it around good idea I don't know why I didn't think of that uh oh calm down calm down see how it it reaches over past everything remove some of these sticks get them out of the way let go there we go and it goes over the cups all right ladies and gentlemen we're able to do it away from me all right again setting on high the temperature on cool and here we go. In three, two, one. <laughs> well, sorry. I dropped the hairdryer. It slipped out of my hands. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to torch it one last time and then we're going to bring you in for that close up. I am definitely digging certain areas more than others. I won't talk about that, but uh, over here and over there. Maybe some in there. Some right there. Definitely all, all over the place. I like it.
thought that's a lot of torching. I agree. That's why I stopped. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a mess. I'm just going to call it a mess. Obviously, it's not quite your typical Dutch pour. Um, still trying to work on that one, but this is a version of it, I guess, if you want to call it that. Because technically, it's paint, and I use the hairdryer, so I mean, I don't know what other criteria I need to meet for it to be called that, but yeah. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for that close-up, and uh, yeah, let's do it. And now remember to turn off that overhead lights. All right, so we are going to start on this end and work our way that way. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting too close and it's messing with the exposure rate, I guess, or I don't know. It got, it got dark. Oh, it's my shadow. LOL. All right, so here we got the mountains in purple, some glaciers, some volcanic action, some yellow stuff. Yeah and some uh, purple stuff so here we follow along this path right here we got some red lacing or some red with some white lacing in the middle some little itty bitty cells all over the place this is where we come into the blended area that's what we're gonna call it the blended area with an island where's the island there's the island right there see that little island of all kinds of stuff yeah all right so it's gonna take you around the edge first so you guys can take a little peep and see this area I think it's a little too pastel-y I guess if you want to call it that color like the, where it's really just mixed in with the whites too much um, I mean I like it I just don't think I like it with the cells I don't know that's just my opinion let me know what you think in the comment section here we come along to <clears throat> excuse me some little itty bitty negative spaces. Let me pull back a little bit. Yeah, with some more uh, purple islands and blue icebergs and all kinds of stuff. Then here we get to a part where it barely, barely went over the edge. All right, so now we turn the corner. We got some really, really interesting lacing and some cell formations going on here I'm not gonna read the fact that it told me to move back to improve focus although I think I just did so so digging this where is it? where's my finger this area right here that is some cool combination of colors the lacing the mixing of the colors the squigglies all that good stuff go up a little bit to the edge Come back around this way. And we'll come back to another nice cool little spot. At least that's what I think. Again, guys, let me know in the comment section. If you dig it, I dig it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna scoot back just a little bit to get a bigger now you know what? Screw that. We're gonna get close. And come back this way. The yellows, the blues, the reds, the faded colors, the little islands in the stream. That is what we are. Yeah. Back to this area over here. Got scroll up a little bit. Scroll up a little. We're gonna scoot back a little bit. There we go. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna do one last sweep the long way, trying to get the whole thing in in frame. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you liked the video, please give me a like. And uh, if you definitely liked the video and are new to the channel and are interested in seeing more please consider subscribing because it's fun. I'm learning and I'm hoping you guys are learning too. And although I'm learning, I'm also learning a lot from you guys because you guys are giving me a lot of great advice on things to try, things to add, things to take away. Um, there are a few things I do not have. I know one of you mentioned some uh, metallic pieces or yeah, like a piece made of metallic paints. There we go. Um, unfortunately, I do not have, I think I got like one or two but not the cool ones. I got like a metallic orange and a metallic purple, so I don't know. But definitely, definitely gonna be on the next shopping trip to Hobby Lobby on Sunday. You know, you know how we do. And uh, yeah, so again, if you liked what you see and you wanna see more and you haven't subscribed, 
go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed and you like what you see, please share with a friend. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all have a good one. Bye. Okay, here's the truth. I have him locked in my basement. I am using him for his art. Why do you think you never get to see him out and about? Because he's locked up in my basement, painting 24 hours a day. <laughs>